In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the knife tool inside Blender. So let's check it out. And what I did, uh, I already did the sort of like the base model of it uh, using the very same techniques that I use for the rest of the pieces. And what I want to show you is an option to do the cut that the bishop has uh, usually on the uh, pieces here, right? So there's, I mean, there's a couple of ways that you can tackle these um, scenes. These models that I'm doing are mostly just for concept because we either gonna, um, you know, they're not gonna really be animated um, or we're gonna paint over them in a final painting or something. Um, you know, I believe the topology doesn't need to be perfect um, because they're not really gonna be animated or anything. So um, this way of doing it might be the uh, sort of like a dirty way to do it, but um, it still works. So what I want to do is actually let's duplicate this just in case we mess it up. And what I want to do, let's go to uh, edit mode here and let's turn on my X-ray and I'm going to grab the knife tool. And you can find that here. We have the bicep, which um, we have used and the knife tool here. And uh, for the tools in Blender, for example, if I pick the knife, and I click, let's say I want to click here. You're going to see down the bottom here, you're going to see options for that tool that will help you uh, have different ways to use it and different options and settings. And if you look here, it says cut through off. Um, that means that whenever I cut this using this line, it's not going to go all the way through the model here. Um, and that's something that I don't want. I actually want to cut through the model completely, right? So the way to turn that on is it says here Z. So Z cut through off. So if I if I press Z, it's gonna be on, right? If you can see there. And now I can make a cut here, depending on what I want to uh, cut here. So let's just say I want maybe this here. I click to the side, and I go through again maybe over here and I press enter. And now I have that cut. And let's look at, as you can see, you know, it looks ugly, but it goes all the way through. So that's something that we do want. So let's go to the select mode here, X-ray, and let's actually select all these uh, polygons here. And this select tool, you can uh, go through the different options here by pressing W. So if you press W, you can go through them. We're gonna pick the lasso tool here. So I'm just gonna lasso here, all the poly, all the polygons that I want to select like so. And I'm just gonna press X, delete faces, and there we go. So now the problem that we have is that we have to fill these um, we have to fill this and we actually eliminated one here that we didn't need to. So let's actually um, get rid of that. There we go. So that looks good. Let's delete it again. And now we need to fill these um, empty areas. And the way we can do that is very easy. You can just select the, um, the edges here, press F and now we can fill. So depending how complicated you want to make this um, piece here, um, it's going to depend what you, how you're going to deal with it. So the first one is going to be very simple. So I'm going to create a plane. So match plane. I'm going to bring that up here. I'm going to rotate it in the X axis, 90 degrees here. I'm just going to make it slightly bigger than the actual reference image here, slightly bigger. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit mode and I'm going to grab my knife. And now I can really, uh, literally just trace my drawing here. Um, oops, 
let's just start that again. And I'm going to trace my drawing here as best as I can. And you could do this very tight. The more points, of course, the more vertices you're going to end up with. But we're just going to roughly trace the drawing here. It's all the way around. And here and all the way up here. Now, um, we're going to end up with something that is not super clean, but uh, it's going to at least give us a base to uh, start with, right? So I'm going to go to the end here and press enter. And now uh, if I go to edit mode here, I do have these already traced. So I'm just going to delete the other polygons here. And now I have these um, plane that has the shape of my drawing. And what I can do with this is let me actually move this plane back. And I can just literally just extrude this. So go to edit mode, select everything E for extrusion. Oops. And there we have the actual shape. We get here. All right, guys, so that was it for today's episode. Very quick and easy. Uh, this is a great tool that you can use inside Blender. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below so I can actually address them. If not, I'll see you guys in the next one.